Hola, ¿cómo estamos? Soy Tatiana. Hello, everyone. I am Tatiana, your intuitive numerologist. Here on this platform, we talk about numbers for your health, happiness, and peace. Okay. So today we're going to do an energy forecast for the month of June 2024. And this is really, really interesting because when I tune into this vibration, what I got was reconciliation. Yeah. And usually what this means is that there's going to be um, some uniting, some healing, some forgiveness, um, some letting go type of energy that we're going to be experiencing for the month to come. I don't know if there's going to be family reunions, but listen, it's perfect, right? It's we in June. Um, but they, they definitely feel like there's going to be some family gatherings or some friendship gatherings. And people are going to come to com common grounds that, you know, we are all trying to figure it out. And it's not easy, but we're going to try. And reconciliation, my friends, does not mean that we're going to be BFF again. Um, but it just means that we're going to respect um, the journey that we are all in and the self-discovery that we are trying to tap into. So next month is coming into a collective energy five. So what does this mean? This means that this month is a perfect month for people to come like the flocks together. It is a perfect, perfect month for people to create gathering, prioritize and get things moving um, go through some memory things. You know, the five energy really taps into the, the mental a lot. It is an air energy. Um, and so you will find yourself probably going through some stack of pictures or some boxes of old souvenirs that was um, connected to loved ones that have transcended. So it's going to be a perfect month for people to all come together. And, and kind of reminisce on people that even transcended, people that no longer are here with us. Um, you may even start feeling their presence much stronger because I feel like this reunion is not only going to be a reunion of the living, but also of those that have transcended. So you may find yourself looking back a few times and feeling like you saw something. I could tell you right now, I'm not getting the energy that you are going crazy. You actually saw that energy. Our loved ones are going to be coming um, spiritually. They're going to be coming physically. They're going to be coming um, emotionally as well. So I will recommend that everyone prepare themselves to, to honor the space. So do your cleaning. Um, do your releasing. Do whatever spiritual or rituals that you need to do to prepare the space because it is going to be an energetic family reunion okay an energetic family reunion that is going to be pouring down for everyone okay so if you are in a personal year nine for this upcoming month june you are going to be coming into a six energy so this sixth energy, once again, reconciliation, what I'm getting is there's going to be some healing and it feels like healing with children. Maybe it was your child, childhood friend. Maybe it was an experience that you had as a child, um, but it feels very like homey, something um, from, from like, when you was very young and it feels very nurturing. It feels that type of energy. And maybe there was some kind of, um, you know, neglect that occur and had you feeling like this, holding on to this memory. For some reason, I feel like that memory is going to ease. Okay. So those are in a, those are for those that are in a personal year nine, you're coming into a six energy month okay so there's some kind of childhood healing if you are in a if you guys see me looking over here because i'm trying to keep 
<laughs> track. There have been videos that I do a whole video and I'm like, I forgot to say this number. So if you are in a personal year one, you are going to be coming into a seventh energy, okay? But this is going to really give you the opportunity to kind of like evaluate, assess what are some of the things that haven't been allowing you to practice compassion, you know? Um, allow so I apologize. I think it got cut off. Um, but I was sharing if you are in a personal year one, you are going to be coming into June under a seventh energy. And so a seventh energy is a very introspective type of energy. So it's important for you to kind of reflect. Um, and remember how I shared that the energy that I'm feeling has a lot to do with reconciliation and you coming into a seventh month. This seventh energy is feeling more like you need to um, mature compassion. So you are going to come across certain things that are going to give you the opportunity to mature compassion, right? So in June, um, just be aware of the things that are not allowing you to be compassionate and then have, have, um, some alone time for you can be able to channel that, um, that blockage out of your body because compassion raises your, your vibration and it causes a lot of internal healing and regulation. So I mean, going to the bathroom better, um, that means more um, energy flowing to, from your heart to your um, intestines much smoother, okay? So that is for those in a personal year one. If you are in a personal year two, you are coming into a eight energy, eight energy, right? And so the eight energy relating to reconciliation, you know, um, Probably there have been people in your life that were very blunt and they said things not caring about your emotions, um, but they probably said it in a, in a time where they either felt that you needed to know this and maybe because you are so, you know, babied with your emotion at the time, you could not see it, but now things are starting to make sense to you. So I want you to kind of like reflect on that because I can also be a bit blunt sometimes. And I know that some people don't, are not always ready, but the same thing with me. Some people could be very blunt with me and I'm not always ready for it. But then in the long run, I get it. I'm like, oh, that's what they were trying to tell me. Of course, I probably wasn't ready to, to, to receive it that way, but who's actually ready? Time don't wait for nobody. So I want you to reflect on people that have spoken to you very bluntly and take the time to like forgive because I'm pretty sure you have moments that you did the same. Okay. So those, this was for those in a personal year two, because you're going into an eight. Okay. All right. If you're in a personal year three, okay, this person in year three, you are in a ninth energy that you're coming into. And so the ninth energy, what I'm feeling is, ooh, a level of gratitude. You need to practice gratitude for next month. Um, and you need to practice gratitude f to all of your trials and tribulations. They brought you to the finish line. They led you to where you are right now. Um, practice having a level of appreciation for everything that has happened to you in your life whether it was amazing or whether it was the darkest time of your life. So I want to encourage you to do that because that's what I'm feeling. So you probably want to get a journal this month and just 
start writing your gratitude. In fact, this is one recommendation. Um, when you practice gratitude, the voices in your head, value that are instigating starts to go down. Um, and then abundance also pours in. So get a journal and start with every day for the month of June. Maybe you want to start with a week, then move it to two weeks and three weeks. But for every day, start to do at least a list of 10 things that you're grateful that happened that day. If only two things come, three things come, start making it up. <laughs> I'm grateful for that person almost running me over. I'm serious. I'm grateful for that bus that saw me running for it and decided to leave. I'm grateful for that apple that I ate. I'm grateful for uh, my boss that gets on my nerves. Okay, practice that and tell me how that works out for you. Now we're going to um, those in the personal year four. If you are in a personal year four, you are coming into June under a one month energy. And this one month energy is needing you to you to own. Mm, that's what it says. That's what's coming to me. It needs you to own. Mm, I'm trying to get the word. It needs you to realize that your behaviors is a result of your life experiences. That's what I'm getting. So June in this month, one for you, needs you to recognize your truth. This is not the idea of who you think you are, but this is the true essence of who you are. So it needs you to recognize you have been holding on to a lot of false identities of who you believe you are. And it's time for you to allow yourself to go through the grieving process because you need to say hello to who you truly are. That's what I'm getting. An exercise to do for a want energy um, can be you, you choosing to do some things you don't care to do. You choosing to do some things you don't care. Like if anyone was to usually ask you to do it, you'd be like, oh no, and so angry and so Ugh. This time, I, if someone tells you to do it, I want you to practice saying, I chose this. I chose this. If your boss tells you, um, I need this done by this time, you say, I choose to get this done by this time. I'm gonna say that again. If your boss comes and tells you, I need this done at this time, I want you to say, I choose to get this done at this time. So tell your boss, yes, you don't need to tell them this out loud. This is the things you can say to yourself out loud to yourself. You don't have to say out loud to your boss. Don't lose your job, okay? <laughs> All right, so if you are in a personal year, five you are coming into a month two. So this two energy, this deals with companionship. Um, and you may find yourself having a hard time working with others. You may find yourself not wanting to work with others, but I want to encourage you to let your, um, I want to encourage you to invite others. If someone come and offer to help you, just receive it. You are worthy and deserving of someone that wants to help you. So this is really, really powerful, my friends, because in a two month, you may find people just naturally wanting to do things for you. You may find um, that you want to work behind the scenes. You don't want to be so exposed. And that is very, very natural and um and okay all right so i want to encourage you to actually tap into that let's go a little bit faster here <laughs> so if you are in a personal year six i want to encourage you to know that you're going to be entering into a three let loose 
you giving yourself permission to laugh, to joke around. You may have found yourself a little bit serious, lady, or reserved. So this is going to be a really good month for you to do just that. I want to encourage you an exercise to do for this month is, um, um, I'd like to call this like random coloring, um, where you can get like a blank paper like this and don't lift your pen up or your pencil and you just keep just designing things. And then usually I like to, you see is a heart. <laughs> and then this heart becomes other things, but you want to keep doing this. And then as you keep doing this, just breathe in and out. That's one form of meditation I want to encourage. Okay, so lastly, if you are in a personal yes, siete, seven, you're going to be coming into a four energy month. And the four energy month is the energy of experiential. It wants to feel. It wants to be in it. It wants to experience the hard work. Um, and the reason why I want to experience the hard work is because it reaps what it sows, and it knows that very well. And remember how I shared that this month is about reconciliation. So maybe there was a project that you started and you couldn't finish for whatever reason. Maybe the energy wasn't in alignment for you to even get it done, or maybe your will wasn't strong enough. So I want to encourage you to go back to that project. Make sure it's realistic. Make sure it's something that, yes, you can execute and complete this coming month okay for the month of june so this helps you to um, make peace and mend the brokenness of not getting other things done in your life okay so i hope that this helped this is definitely very refreshing for me um remember i am in a personal eight years so i'm i am in a five energy month but I already know that this energy month is going to come with meaning to um, reevaluate, you know, and and really search through things, you know, search and allow myself to purge and um, connect and and find things that I can reconciliate back with, right? Oneness. So I hope this video is not too too long, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and really get a better understanding of your personal year and the personal month that you are coming into. Uh, I wish you all well. You take care now. Bye.